During Tesla's recent investor conference call, several exciting new 4680 battery updates were shared, including their annual production rate, cost improvement progress, and more. Follow along as I discuss these new details. I'm John, and this is Cleaner Watt. Here at the beginning of the video, I wanna say thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. But I also wanna say for those of you who cannot financially support through Patreon, maybe that's not an option for you. If you purchase items from Amazon regularly, I'm going to put an Amazon affiliate link down in the video description. If you purchase any Amazon products using that link, Amazon will give me a commission at no extra cost to you and that will help support this channel. So that's just one more way that you can support this channel by just clicking that link when you go to make your Amazon purchases. With that being said, let's move back to the video content. In March, through their Cybertruck X account, Tesla shared that the production team at Giga Texas was able to produce enough 4680 batteries for 1000 Cybertruck battery packs in a single week. This is something that Lars Moravi discussed in Tesla's most recent investors conference call when he made clear that since Q4 of 2023, Tesla has improved the production of their 4680 batteries by around 18 to 20%. Lars also clarified that building enough 4680 batteries for 1000 Cybertrucks in a single week equates to a run rate of about seven gigawatt hours of batteries per year. While a run rate of seven gigawatt hours of batteries being produced per year is somewhat small as compared to what I believe Tesla thought they would be producing here in 2024. This does represent a pretty big increase over the previous approximately three gigawatt hour per year annual run rate that I estimated Tesla was at last year. Now I have quite a few more details that were revealed in Tesla's recent investor conference call that I want to discuss, but I also wanna talk about where Tesla has come with their 4680 battery production at Gigafactory Texas. For example, back in June of 2023, Tesla posted on X that they had produced their 10 millionth 4680 battery cell at Gigafactory Texas. Then in October of 2023, they posted on X that they had just built their 20 millionth 4680 battery cell at Gigafactory Texas. But it's important to note that in the past, these numbers that Tesla shared were accumulative numbers, not weekly numbers, not monthly numbers, but accumulative. That means from the start of production to, for example, that October update, Tesla had produced a total of 20 million battery cells or so. So whereas those past numbers were accumulative, the numbers that Tesla recently shared here, these are weekly and annual run rate numbers. So once again, in a single week, Tesla was able to build enough 4680 batteries to build 1000 Cybertrucks. That of course equates to enough 4680 batteries to build 52,000 Cybertrucks per year. And if you break that down even further, based on some basic approximations, that equates to around 1.36 million battery cells being built per week or over 70 million 4680 batteries being built per year. So in perspective, Tesla improving their run rate to seven gigawatt hours of batteries per year is a very good milestone. Now a quarter over a quarter increase of 18 to 20%, that's a good increase, but I believe that number is going to be even more substantial when you move from Q1 of 2023 to the next update in Q2 of 2023 during that investor conference call, because it's important to note that in Q4, Tesla switched over one of their production lines from Gen 1 4680 cell production to their new cyber cells at Gigafactory Texas. And of course, that had to lead to some downtime for that production line. And then you have to ramp that back up. And in addition to that, during Tesla's Q4 2023 conference call, it was made clear that they were only running one production line for regular production, two production lines for trial production, and the fourth 4680 battery production line was in commissioning. Now, based on information revealed in Tesla's most recent investors conference call, they apparently have three lines producing 4680 battery cells at Gigafactory Texas because Lars specifically made clear that they were ramping the third of four production lines. And as a reminder, phase one of the Gigafactory Texas cell production facility is to have four production lines and they're going to have a second phase with four more production lines. So I read this to mean that the two trial production lines that were mentioned in the Q4 2023 investor conference call 
I believe those are now producing regular production now and not just trial production. So three production lines producing batteries right now, and that fourth line is apparently still in commissioning. Next, Lars shared some important cost improvement details for Tesla's 4680 battery production. Lars said, quote, because we're ramping, COGS, which stands for cost of goods sold, continues to drop rapidly week over week, driven by yield improvements throughout the lines and production volume increases. Lars went on, so our goal, and we expect to do this, is to beat supplier cost of nickel-based cells by the end of the year. Now, I want to make sure that we don't brush over this. This is actually a really huge piece of information that Lars revealed. By the end of this year, Tesla is aiming for the cost of producing 4680 batteries to beat the cost of batteries they're buying from their suppliers. This means that Tesla, by the end of this year, should actually start benefiting from the cost benefits of producing batteries in a very efficient way. And this is something that they talked about once again back in 2019 at their battery day when they shared, based on the new cell production processes, that producing these 4680 batteries should be much lower in cost than the competition's way of manufacturing those batteries, the, the traditional way of manufacturing batteries. And in addition, when you add in the fact that very soon Tesla will have their lithium processing facility online and their cathode materials processing facility as well, Tesla in the future should be able to beat their supplier's cost for batteries by a good margin as scale increases. Lower cost batteries, of course, equate to lower cost electric vehicles. And when you have lower cost electric vehicles, that helps more people to be able to afford those vehicles and helps further Tesla's mission to electrify transportation. Now, of course, right now, Tesla is no longer producing generation one 4680 batteries. And the only vehicle that is using 4680 batteries right now is the Tesla Cybertruck. I'm pretty sure that eventually Tesla would like to use their 4680 batteries in other vehicles. But for now, keeping up with the Cybertruck ramp is what really matters. They really don't need to exceed the Cybertruck ramp when it comes to number of 4680 batteries built. And this is something that Lars Moravi made clear in the investors conference call. Now, this next topic is really exciting to me because it looks like Tesla may be sharing their battery manufacturing technology with their suppliers based on something that Lars said. Early on, according to one of my sources, Tesla was keeping their 4680 battery technology to themselves and really didn't want to share any of it with their suppliers. Based on this statement from Lars, this may have changed for Tesla's suppliers. Lars said, quote, but we also have a lot of investments with our cell suppliers and vendors. They're great partners and they've done great development work with us. And a lot of the advancements in technologies and chemistry, they're also putting into their cells. Notice that he specifically mentioned their great development work with us and then advancements in technology and chemistry. So he didn't come right out and say that they're sharing 4680 battery techniques, manufacturing techniques and technology with their suppliers. But if you kind of read between the lines here, it looks like that is definitely a possibility here. Next, Elon revealed one of the main reasons why they decided to build their own 4680 battery cells. And Elon said, quote, a big part of the 4680 Tesla doing internal cells was a hedge against what would happen with our suppliers. Because for a while, it was very difficult because every big car maker put in massive battery orders. And so the price per kilowatt hour of lithium ion batteries went to crazy numbers, crazy levels. Elon went on, we've got to have some hedge here to deal with the cost per kilowatt hours of numbers that were double what we anticipated. If we have an internal cell production, then we have that hedge against demand shocks. We did the cell program in order to address the crazy increase in cost per kilowatt hour from our suppliers due to gigantic orders placed by every car maker on earth. When a car manufacturer like Tesla does not have to rely 100% on their cell suppliers, this of course does give them some good leverage when it comes to pricing because the cell supplier knows that if they raise the prices too high, Tesla will just decide to build their own battery cells. So that does help keep a ceiling on the price that they pay to their suppliers. This was a good, smart way that once again, under Elon's leadership, the Tesla team was looking far into the future and really hedging against future cost increases and setting themselves up to have more control over cost and supply. During that investors conference call, Karn, who is the VP of supply chain at Tesla, also mentioned a big side benefit of Tesla producing their own batteries when he mentioned, quote, 
What 4680 did for us from a supply chain perspective was help us understand the supply chain that's upstream of our cell suppliers. So a lot of the deals that we struck for 4680, we can also supply those materials to our partners, reducing the overall cost back to Tesla. So that's also been beneficial in reducing the overall pricing in addition to the excess capacity that these suppliers have. So really to wrap all this up, once again, the fact that Tesla plans to beat their cell suppliers cost by the end of this year for producing 4680 batteries, that's really huge. It's also encouraging that they're producing batteries at an annual run rate of seven gigawatt hours of batteries. That's a good annual production run rate, especially when you look at their past progress. I'm also looking forward to the next quarterly update when I expect that the production increase number will be higher than 18 to 20% quarter over quarter. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. And also I'd like to say once again, thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.